The key to a good life is not giving a fuck about more, it's giving a fuck about less. No truly happy person feels the need to stand in front of a mirror and recite that she's happy, she just is. Today we're diving into a bold and unconventional self-help book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson, published in 2016. This non-fiction self-help psychology personal development book is a must read in life. Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, bringing literature to life one summary at the time. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Let's explore its key concepts and see how it can transform the way you approach life. Mark Manson's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck falls under the self-help genre, but it's far from the typical motivational guide. Instead of focusing on positivity and success, Manson offers a refreshing perspective on embracing our flaws and limitations. The book encourages us to choose our values wisely and focus on what truly matters. Let's dive into the key concepts. The value of not giving a fuck. Manson starts by emphasizing the importance of not caring about everything. As he puts it, not giving a fuck does not mean being indifferent. It means being comfortable with being different. It's about prioritizing what's truly important and letting go of the rest. This mindset helps us focus on our core values and avoid unnecessary stress. The feedback loop from hell. This concept is a psychological trap that many of us fall into without even realizing it. Manson introduces the concept of the feedback loop from hell, a vicious cycle where our efforts to improve our lives actually make us feel worse. The more we obsess over being happy and successful, the more inadequate we feel. This constant striving creates a sense of never being good enough, no matter what we achieve. The key is to accept our flaws and limitations. By acknowledging that we are imperfect, we can break free from the endless loop of self-criticism and disappointment. As Manson says, the desire for more positive experience is itself a negative experience. This means that the more we chase after happiness, the more it eludes us, leading to greater dissatisfaction. And paradoxically, the acceptance of one's negative experience is itself a positive experience. By embracing our struggles and imperfections, we can find a deeper sense of peace and contentment. This acceptance allows us to live more authentically and to appreciate the present moment rather than constantly striving for an unattainable ideal. In the end, breaking free from the feedback loop from hell is about finding balance and understanding that it's okay to be imperfect. It's about connecting with others and sharing our true selves. The importance of struggles. Life is about choosing your struggles. Instead of avoiding problems, Manson suggests embracing them and finding the ones worth fighting for. Who you are is defined by what you're willing to struggle for, Manson writes. This perspective helps us find purpose in our challenges. The Backwards Law. Borrowed from philosopher Alan Watts, the Backwards Law states that the more you pursue feeling better all the time, the less satisfied you become. This paradoxical idea suggests that the constant chase for happiness and success can actually lead to more stress and unhappiness. Manson highlights that the pursuit of positive experiences is itself a negative experience. When we are always striving for more, we often overlook the value of what we already have. The pain you pursue in the gym results in better all-around health and energy. This is a perfect example of how enduring discomfort can lead to positive outcomes. The failures in business are what lead to a better understanding of what's necessary to be successful. Each setback provides valuable lessons that contribute to future achievements. Similarly, practices like meditation and mindfulness teach us to accept our current state, rather than constantly striving for a different one. This acceptance can paradoxically lead to greater peace and contentment. Personal growth often comes from facing challenges and overcoming obstacles. The struggles we endure shape our character and resilience. Building strong relationships and community support also involves effort and sometimes discomfort, but these connections are essential for a fulfilling life. Reflecting on our experiences and developing self-awareness can help us understand the true nature of happiness and satisfaction. By embracing the backwards law, we can find a deeper sense of fulfillment. Manson stresses the importance of taking responsibility for our lives, regardless of the circumstances. By owning our choices and actions, we empower ourselves to create change and find solutions. We don't always control what happens to us, but we always control how we interpret what happens to us as well as how we respond. Learning to say no to things that don't align with our values is crucial. 
Manson argues that we should prioritize what truly matters and let go of the rest, even if it means disappointing others. The art of focusing on what matters is to acknowledge the trade-off. There is no such thing as a problem-free life. Manson concludes by discussing the inevitability of death. He believes that accepting our mortality can lead to a more grounded and meaningful life. The knowledge and acceptance of your own death is the first step in becoming adult in your life. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson is a groundbreaking book that challenges conventional wisdom about happiness and success. It offers a counterintuitive approach to living a happier and more fulfilling life by encouraging us to embrace our limitations and accept the reality of our circumstances. By focusing on what truly matters, embracing our struggles and understanding that pain and discomfort are inevitable parts of life, we can take responsibility for our actions and make more meaningful choices. This approach helps us find deeper satisfaction and meaning in our life experiences rather than constantly chasing after superficial goals and fleeting pleasures. Mark Manson's unique perspective on personal growth encourages us to prioritize our values and focus on what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. The book is filled with practical advice and real-life examples that illustrate how we can apply these principles in our daily lives. As readers we are invited to reflect on our own lives and consider what we truly care about and how we can align our actions with those values. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription you are encouraged us to create more summaries. Any comments and recommendations are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.